This is maybe one of the biggest mistakes that I've done when I started as a photographer, minimizing the importance of a good screen. And you can add on top of that the importance of a well calibrated screen. This might sound stupid for a lot of you guys, but when I started, I thought to myself, you spent so much money on this MacBook Pro, so it must be good enough straight out of the box. Hmm. Boy, was I wrong. strange feedbacks on some of my images you know only a few of them back in the days and I also had weird results on some of the images I printed back then but I thought maybe it was the printer's fault and then I had my big big exhibition my first big exhibition in Strasbourg back in 2016 I was no longer working on a MacBook Pro but on a Dell workstation and then I get a call from the man responsible of the printing of all my images that asks me if that magenta tint is done on purpose on almost all my images. And also if those crushed blacks were also something deliberate. At first, hmm, I thought that we were not looking at the same images. And then I discovered that one, my screen wasn't well calibrated, and two, my tiny screen, well, it buried a lot of the details present in the shadows. So with the budget that I had back then, I decided to invest in a new screen, the BenQ PD3200U. And I immediately saw what I was missing in the majority of my images. The difference was night and day. I now regularly calibrate my screen with the iDisplay Pro and it really helps with all those details. No more bad surprises with my prints now. They're almost identical to what I see on my screen. So I'm happy now, or sort of. With the years, you gain experience, you train your eye, and you pay attention more and more to the smallest, smallest details in your images. On big projects, I wanna make sure I have the best tools to deliver the best images, the best work, that I can. And that's when the BenQ SW321C comes in. Paper color sync technology to simulate photo print effect on screen. Uniformity technology for screen wide color accuracy. And 99% Adobe RGB color space were the main reasons this screen got my attention. This screen has 10 bit color depth, which allows smooth color gradations. With an 8 bit screen, you might see bending in solid blue skies, for example. I decided to use their palette master element software to calibrate my screen. It works with the iDisplay Pro, it is easy to set up, and I was quickly ready to work. The shading hood is really useful for me because just right behind my desk, I have this window. Of course, I always work with the blinds partially or completely down because I want my screen to be the brightest element 
in my room when I'm retouching or editing an image or a video. I said it earlier, 99% Adobe RGB colors, 100% sRGB and a Rec. 709 and 95% DCI P3 and Display P3 colors. This to deliver the most realistic colors for almost all types of work, all types of work. You got it. I can finally fine tune my contrast, my blacks, my highlights, my shadows without worrying about the results on paper. There's that little thing that is really useful, the hotkey puck G2, which allows me to access all the menus of my screen even when I'm far away from it. I really love the design of this screen. It offers multiple ports. It is really easy to connect it to a laptop or to a PC like me. Around 1.7, 1.8K euros here in Europe, I believe you get plenty for your money. If you are getting serious about photography, if you're making money with photography, you want to make it your, prof your profession, sorry, your main income, then I truly believe that you have to consider really seriously purchasing a high-end screen. High-end screen. I got it this time. I've been using the SW321C for a couple months now. I didn't want to rush in a review without utilizing it on multiple projects. I paid my first BenQ monitor full price, but this one was sent to me by BenQ and I'm gonna keep it. So keep that in mind. I was told by BenQ that I was free to say whatever I wanted on that screen. So this was my honest opinion, but I thought that that piece of information was, was worth mentioning. Of course, all the important links will be in the description box below if you have any questions about this monitor you can ask me in the comments and also in the comments you can tell me what screen are you using right now for your editing and retouching please tell us hope you loved this one and learned a thing or two if not then i'm sorry please spread some love all around you because what the world needs now is love sweet love and until the next one, please have a good one.